Welcome back to another retro look at the Sega Saturn. We will be going in order when I have time looking back at older systems and games from the past from my gaming collection. Be aware that some videos will be heavier in content when it's about Sega systems as I was a huge Sega fanboy growing up. Different story today, but still a bit biased at times. Heck, I don't even own a Sony system for that reason. They pretty much took out the Saturn and the Dreamcast if you don't know already. Okay, more to come in our new retro section later on. The Sega Saturn was a well-known 2D powerhouse. So much so that Sony said that the first batch of games, besides some of the companies like Capcom, needed to be in 3D. They knew a direct comparison to 2D would kill them. Sony indeed made the right choice as people wanted to move to the third dimension and kill the Saturn in sales due to this. Still, the Saturn pumped out a tremendous amount of games in 2D. The following is a collection I kept over the years as my favorites. Released in 1997, developer success releases Con 2 Magico Night Dreams. This game looks nice and sweet, but if you are a fan of the Cotton series, it can be a hardcore shooter. I still have problems playing the game seriously, as with the Saturn's 2D capabilities, there is a rarely any slowdown for your eyes to catch up with the insanity that the screen can fill at one time. Like the era of the time, many shooters like Cotton 2 was highly praised and was a must own. Demon Castle Dracula X Nocturne in the Moonlight on the Saturn was released in 1998. Being a direct port of the PlayStation Symphony of the Night, Castlevania, was not made from the ground up to take advantage of the 2D powerhouse. Konami opt to convert the lower resolution to fit Sega's higher resolution standard. By far not a bad game, but it could have been much better. Best part of the game is being able to play as Richter or Maria from the very beginning of the game. A game that could have been so much more if the time was taken to do so. Released in 1997, title brings the sequel Elevator Action Returns to the Sega Saturn. Just like the arcade, the game pushes you to solve each level like a puzzle with immense action. The game needs you to plan your attack before you just run and gun, which way you will do you no good in the later levels. As a bonus, this game comes included with the original. Guardian Heroes by Treasure was released in 1996. This game was a classic beat-em-up with two players plus your immortal Guardian Knight in a medieval fantasy setting. This game could be finished in one playthrough spanning about 45 minutes, but this game has multiple endings with the choices and routes you choose. I played this game forever loving combos and, and the insanity on screen, almost like an RPG you would add to your stats and magic to strategically battle each level. I lost the game moving from house to house, but was happy to see the remix version 
on the Xbox 360 released. For huge Robotech or Macross fans, Bandai released Super Dimension Fortress Macross Do You Remember Love in 1997 for Japan only. This game is based on the anime of the same name released in 1984. This side-scrolling shooter takes you into specific missions just like the anime film. Using full motion video, this game is a bit mediocre at best, but it's still one of the best representations of the fandom through its unique weapons and plane transformations. SNK is no slouch when it comes to porting games to the Sega Saturn. In 1997, Metal Slug graced the system with its absolute 2D craziness. This 2D shooter was so chaotic that slowdown was actually prevalent in the Saturn as well. The plot is simple, defeat the bad guy army and save your friends while doing so. The art style and design has made Metal Slug a household name when anybody thinks of shooters that pretty much replaced Contra from the old days of the old Nintendo. Princess Crown was released by Atlas in 1997 and is a side-scrolling RPG and would be the beginning of Villanueva's unique design who brought similar games with their unique style and art with Odin Sphere, Moromasa Demon Blade, Fantasy Earth Zero, and Dragon's Crown. Needless to say, this game is one of the top games to truly show the Saturn's 2D power. Every detail is pushed to the Saturn's limit. The game itself is tough and I needed a guide since I was, ne was never released in North America, but this game is a work of art from beginning to end. Psychic Killer Taramaru was released by Time Warner Interactive in 1997. This game has 2D sprites over 3D backgrounds but plays on a 2D plane. Hailed as one of the most expensive games to find and buy, this sleeper hit compared this work with Treasure as one of the 30 best 32-bit had to offer at this time. This game is tough and reminds me a lot of 2D shooting games with the same type of punishment like Alicia Dragoon from the Sega Genesis. <laughs> Rockman X4 or Mega Man X4, released by Capcom in 1997, was an update to the Mega Man X series from the Super Nintendo. First time to grace the Sega system besides Wily Wars, this was the first few times 2D was reviewed better on the PlayStation due to transparency effects. Even though this was one tough game to complete and does not impact your fun and joy, the Mega Man series always comes with. Silhouette Mirage is another game from Treasure released in 1997. 
This game used two different color attacks, red and blue, that are used for the opposite colored enemy. It is a type of shooter that the player needs to strategize by switching colors back and forth to succeed. This type of gameplay eventually would come back for another popular treasure game, which was called Radiant Silver Gun. Sega's own Shinobi series was released in 1995. The game does have laughable full motion video reminiscent of Resident Evil, but boy, this game's visuals are very impressive and it's really fun to play. The departure from the Genesis, they use digitalized graphics, but overall the game plays well and we are still waiting for a proper sequel from the Genesis era, but this comes close. That's it for me on this retro episode of 2D Side Scrollers for my Sega Saturn collection. Did I forget one? Let me know. Other than that, please like and subscribe if you like our videos. And Greg, take us out of here. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.